In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own lower thirds in Femoir 10. Keep watching! Hi everyone, this is Chloe from Watershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. A lower third is the mix of motion graphic design and text that are placed in the lower part of the screen. It provides additional information without distracting the audience. There are many lower thirds presets in Firmware 10, but if you are interested in making your own lower thirds, I'm going to show you how to make your own in Firmware 10 today. It can take some steps to get there, but once you know how to do it, it's going to be pretty easy. Let's go! Let's learn how to make this lower third first, a simple line and texts. To create this lower third, go to the media library on the top left. Select a sample color from the sample media folder. I'm going to pick the white sample in this example. Drag and drop the sample color onto the upper media track of the video. Reposition it and scale it to 30%. Go to the top left effect window. Find utility folder. Drag and drop the image mask onto the white color sample. I want to change some settings in the image mask, so I'm going to double click on the white sample on the timeline. Go to the top left video setting, scroll down and find the image mask setting in the effect section. Okay, now I want to mask the white color square to a thin horizontal line. So I'm going to choose the shape as it works the best for me. Adjust the X, Y axis and the scale numbers until I see a thin white line. Click on OK. To make it easier, I need to set up text animation now. I'm going to go to the Titles window on the top left and grab the Basic 6 title from the Plain Text section. Drop it onto the second video track, right above the white line clip. Don't worry about the exact position yet, we can adjust it later. Double click on the text clip and go to the top left setting window. Let's type some text here. I'm going to type in my name here and adjust the size and font. Click to go to the Advanced Editing window. Find the Animation tab. Scroll down to find the Up Down 1 animation. Select it and adjust the animation length by dragging the two brackets on the timeline on the right side. I'm going to make the text appear faster and exit faster. Click OK. Now, I'm going to go back to the timeline and start adding keyframes to the white line clip to enter and exit the frame. Double click on the white line clip on the timeline. Make sure I'm in the animation keyframe setting window on the top left. I'm going to play back the animation of text and find a position before the text animation starts. Let's move the playhead here. Make sure it is close enough to when the text show up, so this keyframe is right before the text enters. Click to add a keyframe, double check to make sure it is the final position I want. And the opacity should be at 100. Now I'm going to move the play hat to left for a few frames. Click on add. To make sure the white line is out of the frame before it enters, I'm going to change the Y axis number. I also need to change the opacity to zero as the white line starts in transparent color. These two keyframes will create an effect of line entering the frame while turning from transparent to white. Play back the animation and adjust the keyframe marks by dragging them to left or right until I feel the timing looks okay. Okay, this looks great. After this step, I'm going to play back again. Find where the text disappear. Move the play hat to a position after it. Also make sure it's close enough to where the text disappear so I can make sure the white line exits right after the text disappear. Now add the keyframe. We don't need to change any numbers in the setting this time because this keyframe is used to keep the position and opacity unchanged until here. Then let's move the play hat to the right for a few frames. Add another keyframe. I'm going to move the text out of the frame by changing the Y axis number. Change the opacity to 0. 
This keyframe is used to create the animation of line exiting the frame and turning back to transparent in the meantime. Now, let's play back and see how it looks. That looks good. Sometimes you might want to create a name card with a solid background. We can use the same method. Here's how to do it. First, I'm going to grab the white color sample from the sample color folder and drop it onto the upper video track of the video. Change the scale to 30%. Double-click to reposition it to the bottom left. Then, drag and drop the image mask onto the white sample clip on the timeline. Okay, now I'm going to double-click on the white sample clip to activate the video setting window on the top left. Scroll down to find image mask settings. I'm going to choose this shape as the shape of my name card. Once the background card is in place, I'm going to find the basic 6 title from the plain text folder, drop it onto the third video track. Now I'm going to type in text as needed. I'm going to type in my name here. Reposition and scale the text to make sure they are on the top of the background chain. Now that the content of the text is ready, I'm going to go to the advanced editing window. Select the animation called Push. Adjust the animation length from the advanced timeline on the right accordingly. Click OK. Next, I'm going to add keyframes to the background card. Double click on the background clip. Make sure I'm in the animation tab on the top left setting window again. I'm going to play back the text animation and find a position earlier than the start. Move the plate head to here. Add a keyframe. Next, I'm going to move the playhead a few frames earlier to the left and add another keyframe. Okay, now I want to have the name card flying from left while expanding, so I'll need to change the position and scale of the background card. I'm going to change the X axis number to move the background card out of the frame. On the left, change the scale to zero. I also change the opacity to zero in this keyframe to create color change from transparent to white. Play back and adjust the keyframe positions as needed. To let the background card exit the frame, I'm going to add two more keyframes to the background card. I'm going to find the position where the text disappear, add a keyframe with no changes on setting just like we did before. Move the playhead to the right for a few frames, add another keyframe. Now that I want the name card to exit to the bottom, I will change the Y axis number until it's here. Change the scale and opacity to zero. Play back and adjust the keyframes. Last but not least, I'm going to add the subscribe button from the new default element pack, social media. This looks great. I'm loving it. These are the two ways you can create your own lower thirds in Fomora 10. You can also change the keyframe settings to customize your lower thirds even more. What Fomora editing tricks do you want to see in the next video? Let us know in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in the comments. Yes! Step done. Or did I scream to you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pamela.